Okay, so um, I think one of the things that I, I love about my vocation, about youth ministry, is that um, I, I, I get to share my heart with young people. That when I was, it's, I think my desire for serving young people started from, from when I was 16 years old, before I even thought about priesthood. And that was a time where I turned my life around after being in a place of depression and hopelessness. And all of a sudden, through a community, through a youth group, finding hope. And so later on, 21, when I entered the seminary, this was my desire. I wanted to give to others what I had received myself. Mm. And so one of the things that I, I do is that I invest my life into the, into the lives of, of other people, into young people. And I know it is a rewarding ministry because I love working and seeing young people growing, flourishing from um, shy and introverted and people who don't believe in themselves to all of a sudden a place of leadership, a place where they themselves are investing in the lives of others. So one of the things that um, I'd like uh, to see in Tasmania is, is opportunities and ongoing opportunities for young people for discipleship. Maybe it could be in the form of, of retreats and, and uh, youth meetings and, and parish-based groups. The thing is, young people cannot take things in isolation. You can't just have a youth group and hide in a corner. It needs, there needs to be an involvement of something greater, a greater cause, be it social justice, but also be it evangelization. Young people need to be trained to share their faith, to speak out about their faith. Mm -hmm. But also, they need the opportunity to do this. And so this is one thing that we hopefully will try and create an opportunity for these young people to, to not only receive the faith, but also to share the faith on going through leadership and eventually stop um, every few months and, and reflect on what they're doing so they can go deeper in their own personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Look, I think one of the things that ultimately comes down to is fall in love. You cannot give what you yourself have not experienced. If you are not in love with Jesus, people are not going to fall in love. Mm. Faith is caught. It's not taught. I can't teach people to have faith. But they can see the faith in me. They can see the love in me. They can see the strength in me. They can see the desire for God in me. And then they want what we have. Mm. And so this is what my advice would be. Fall in love. If you fall in love with God, then other people will catch that love.